There it is. There's the shopping cart. What's going on everybody? It's Mike and we're coming back at you with another magnet fishing video. So today we're in Omimi. It's a town just outside of Lindsay and Peterborough. It's kind of in between. Yeah, this is a main bridge that I'm at right now. Um, it's not super deep, but I actually can't see the bottom of like right in the middle, like right out there. So we're gonna give it a couple tosses and uh, yeah, we'll see what we turn up. Okay, we've made our way to the top of the bridge. Just gonna get all hooked up. We got our bucket, magnet, and gloves. We're good to go. Pretty decent height for the railing too. It's not like that other bridge where I kind of had to hop over to show you guys what's going on. So, it's a really cool day. I couldn't have asked for a nicer day to do this. Just getting off school, I got off a bit early, so I thought, you know what, this bridge is on the way home. I've been eyeing it for a while. I wanna check it out, I wanna see what's down there. So let's check it out. Even if you get absolutely nothing from your adventures, just the fact that you're outside enjoying the weather, like that's what it's truly all about. That's one of the things I love about magnet fishing. And look at that, we got a catch already. What is this? It's an old hook. Get a nice close up shot. Yeah, old rusty hook. You know where it goes, ladies and gentlemen, right in the bucket. Right in the bucket. Let's go find some more. As I said before, the water is pretty thin, so we probably won't get any big hidden finds, just like that sign I got the other day, or a bike. But at least we'll get some hooks and some lures, and who knows, like anything could be anywhere, right? So, I mean, there could be something hidden away that I just can't see. So that's what we're gonna go for. Piece of scrap metal. So the reason I'm not over at the docks is it's just completely filled with seaweed, right? So I don't want to go over there and have another experience like I did last night. <laughs> I'll put that clip in in case you guys haven't seen it yet. Check out where we are today. We got all these docks just waiting to be magnifished. It might just be garbage, like seaweed and mud. So we'll see how it goes. <sighs> guys, look at that. <laughs> You can, you can barely even walk. Holy. If I was risky, I could go over, but I'm not really feeling that right now. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna toss it out here to start, see how that goes. Yeah, it definitely just feels like seaweed dumpling. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. Yeah, it's nothing but seaweed mess here, guys. Not even worth it. Oh, I'm getting eaten, guys. This is it. That's the end. Thanks for watching. Woo! Day, right? Is that right? And, and a couple of divers came one time. Yeah, is that right? They pulled like bicycles. No way. Cars. That's exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> and we spent all day doing it. Really? And that was that? Okay. I think kids will be kids, right? Definitely. There's another thing that's just awesome about this hobby is that you're, you're out and talking with people, right? I think I'm gonna take his suggestion and hop over to that other bridge. Don't know if he could hear him, but he was talking about, oh, we got something. Nail. He was just talking about how there was some scuba divers that came down and actually cleaned out the area. Oh, another hook, look at that. No fishing or diving from the bridge too. Well, there you go, guys. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to throw the magnet off that. That's too bad. All that build up too. <laughs> Can't do it. And I could hop back over to Rainbow Bridge and see if there's any people fishing there. It is a Wednesday afternoon. Just gotta wrap up these nails and hooks. A little tissue paper. Give that a little wrap. Bye-bye, Gart. Okay guys, I'm on to the next. Okay, we made it. We're back at Rainbow Bridge. And try to get some stuff. I gotta get one good find. I can't just post a video when me get some fish hooks. I wanna get at least one good find for every video. So, let's give her a go. Got some seaweed. 
and we got a bike spoke. Looks like we're working on a bike in there, guys. Nothing new for us. Ugh. Lovely. I have it. Oh. Whatever this is, it's way too heavy for this mag. It makes me think it could be something on the size of like a moped or I don't know. Well guys, I was able to finally get this thing up to the surface of the water, but I don't think I'm pulling her out. It's a shopping cart. If it's still there. Yeah, I still got it there. This thing is bloody heavy. Well, I guess we gotta pull her up. I don't know if we'll be able to get it though. Not locked in there very well. Oh man. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> oh man, that's way too far to pull up from a bridge, let me tell ya. Plus you need to lock it in there pretty well. <sighs> Last shopping cart I pulled up was in Fenland Falls and I needed help from a, a random guy. It was a shopping cart just that size and I just could not pull it to the top and that was just off of here. This is a bridge. So maybe I'd have better luck if I was down on this concrete pad but I don't think I'm climbing down there. Whew. At least we know there's a shopping cart there. Maybe I'll come back sometime when I have more guys or if I feel like I can climb down there. Oh, oh, do I have it now? <laughs> there it is, there's a shopping cart. Hey guys, quick update here. A group of kids came over when I found the shopping cart and were super excited about the find. For respect for the kids and privacy reasons, I muted this portion of the video and cut out certain parts just for their protection. I will say though, that one of the kids located a similar cart in the bushes right beside the bridge after I pulled this cart. And believe it or not, they're from the same grocery store. So keep watching and find out exactly what I did about it. Thanks guys. Okay, so we just bought two tarps at TSC. They were on sale for 40% off, so these two should easily fit the back here, which is perfect. To do that, we're gonna grab the two carts that I pulled up and uh, return them to the proper grocery store. Let's see what they say. How's it going, little guy? Are you lost? What's going on? Oh yeah, you're being cautious. All right, still smells like a swamp <laughs> and this one was just hiding in the bushes so we're gonna return this as well as you can see la manchias it's a grocery store here so i'm sure they'll be happy to get their carts back Woo! <sighs> one cart down all right handle's broken right off it is technically theirs though so i'm gonna see what they say if they want it yeah, wheels are turning fine. All they gotta do is repair the handle on that shopping cart right there. Return every little bit you can. What goes around comes around. All right, we're good to go. To the grocery store. Okay guys, so we just got to the grocery store now. I'm gonna go talk to a supervisor and ask if they want them back and if they do. I mean, it, like it's their shopping cart, right? All right. Okay, so we're back from the grocery store and I was talking with the owner there and it turns out he got an email from a lady this morning about how she saw a shopping cart just on the trail from his uh, grocery store. So that turns out that's the one that I returned. So he took that one back with open arms and he said I had his blessing for scrapping this one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna toss it in the scrap bin. So I have no use for it. Rest in peace. <laughs> All right guys, that's gonna do it. I think we're gonna actually try to do some magnificent and Bob Cajun. Might be in the video, might not. So uh, we'll see you there. And if not, see you later.